Oh, uh, recording. Hi, everybody. It is Sunday, June 4th, and we are talking about uh, the training that we're going to be hopefully doing starting next week, Colin. Uh, Hop Babor, the team leader train. Um, this is something that I've never personally done before. We've done the Director Express before. We've done booking boot camps and all kinds of stuff. Um, I didn't have a lot of people really ready for Director Express, and I didn't want to really kind of water it down. So I thought, hey, maybe a little intermediate uh, stuff like the team leader train um, could be really helpful. And so um, what I had thought about is, um, I've broken it down into, you know, what do people need to know? I want to put it in bite-sized pieces. And it turned out that there were eight topics that I had come up with and eight weeks between next Sunday and the time we go to conference. Um, if you've looked over the thing that I sent out, and it, this does not have to be the final thing. This was me just kind of typing things out. I would love your feedback. Um, I'm sure there might be some gaps in there that you've got great ideas. I definitely want to hear about those, especially I don't do a lot of um, virtual parties. If you do, I really want you to read through there and um, share some tips that we can all be sharing um, on the virtual end of things as well. Um, thank you to Lisa and Mary who have already volunteered to lead weeks. Um, Lisa just put you down for June 25th. Oh, I didn't hear no, from you. No, 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 no. I said not the 25th or the 16th. The 25th is my birthday. Oh, whoops. Okay. And the 16th is my husband's birthday. So I said any day but those days. Okay, then. Thank you to Mary, who already said, put me in charge of host coaching. So I have Mary down for host coaching. I have myself down for at least the overview, but I'm happy to do another. Here are some of the other topics. Uh, Lisa and Michelle, if you want to jump in on one since you're here tonight, let me know. Uh, week two is get your calendar in shape. Uh, week three is start with people you know, and that is reaching out to people that they know who might be interested in learning more about the business, people they know who like to cook, people they know who need extra income, things like that. And I've got outlines already written up for each week, um, but whoever's leading, leading it or whoever feels so inclined to embellish that and add more. July 2nd would be food coaching. I already said she wanted to lead that. The ninth is generating interest. Uh, the 16th would be the Q&A round and, you know, however that is, stealing hearts, the ticket round, the points round, whatever, just the opportunity for people to ask questions about the business. The 23rd of July would be the full service checkout and the 30th would be the recruiting conversation. Karen, I'll take the ninth. You'll take the ninth. Generating interest. Okay, Michelle, thank you. Lisa, was there a topic or a, a week that you liked? Um... What was the ticket activity? That's the Q&A round on the 16th yeah. of July. You said you, that was a week you could not do. What time is the call? 8.30, because we've got some time changes involved. So that was. Um, hold me down for that right this second and then. Okay. All right, awesome. I need to look at my, I need to look at the topics. So what I thought about, and again, this isn't etched in stone, I, I, I want your feedback for sure, is that we'd run it each Sunday, 8.30 to 9, so the call would be quick, but then we'd create a Facebook group for the people who were in it, and whoever is leading the call, if they could take care of checking in on that Facebook group and doing a post a day. It can be encouragement, it can be a little challenge, something like that that goes along with the topic of the week. Um, but if we can all check in on that Facebook group from time to time, of course, you know, to you know, like some things, offer suggestions if they're posting questions. Um, and then of course, the things that we'd all be responsible for is inviting our people. And I encourage people to personally invite and just treat it like a cell. Ask everyone, ask everyone on the team, personally ask them and, you know, talk with them. Maybe it's a hesitation, like a, hes like a booking hesitation. I don't think I can because my house is too small. Then they realize they can do it outside and voila. So, you know, finding out if people have hesitation, see if it's something we can help them work through so that they can give this a try. Um, and then of course, whoever's in it from your team, um, you know, the follow up with them. Do that via Facebook message or calls or whatever. Um, 
And then maybe we could have something for people who are part of this group um, at conference. Maybe they get an extra little something from us, a pin, a, mm -hmm. or something like that. That might be fun. Anyway, those are the thoughts that I've had so far. Love to hear kind of your guys' opinion about what you like, what you don't like, what might make it better. Well, um, I think when the Facebook group is created for, is it going to be for leaders or for participants? Um, I think it, I envisioned at least one for participants. All of the participants from our team could be in one Facebook group so they could kind of be seeing each other on. Um, right. Getting connected and getting to know each other. Um, right. I don't know that we'll need a separate Facebook group for the leaders. Um, because I've sort of emailed everything out. Um, however, and I think if we need to communicate about it, we can do that on the Betty Downline group, Betty Downline Director group. How many directors have said that they want uh, to participate? Uh, so far, it's, uh, well, you know what, I don't know off the top of my head. I would need to go back in there because there were a few others that chimed in afterwards. So I, I don't even want to list that all, but I think there are at least three more. Okay, and there's six weeks. Eight. Eight weeks. Oh, eight weeks. Okay. Um, I'm just thinking that um, if there's something we could private message everybody who we want to ask about this, if there's some wording, hey, I thought of you, we're doing this new team leader training. I mean, how can we promote it uh, um, individually? So we can post something on the Batty Downline Director page that then you can share independently as a mess, private message. And Is that I, what you're asking for? And one mm -hmm. thing, I think you guys all saw the post that I put on Batty Downline. I think I also include in, posted it on the Batty downline director group that I posted to my to my group and then I PM'd people saying did you see that post about the team leader train um, I was really hoping that you would uh, strongly you know consider that consider so you know did you see that post I hope you give this some, some consideration yeah that's what that's what I that's what I'm hoping for um, when I private message um, so yeah and then I had someone who said yeah I don't think the timing is right and I said I get that, but before you make your decision final, can we chat? Because I'm not sure when another one of these will be offered. And this isn't um, super time consuming. Because one of the things I wanted to explain to people is a lot of the assignments are going to be tweak your host coaching or tweak your Q&A round or tweak your full service checkout. That's a show, really. Yeah, so they're already there. So a lot of this kind of stuff won't require a whole lot extra time. It's not like, you know, you know, assignments that they have to go out, you know, and do that are going to take an hour or two to listen to other, you know, things. I mean, it's, it's going to be a training and then, ah, so the next time you're host coaching, you know, add this or do that. Um, so I'm really trying to explain to people that, it shouldn't be incredibly time consuming. It's just, it's time you're already spending on your business. It's just going to help you spend it, you know, more wisely. Um, and also I'm um, explaining to them that uh, I would rather they try it and then decide it's too much and back out than to assume it's going to be too much and not to try it all. I mm -hmm. said, right. So one person I said to her, so worst case scenario, after a few weeks, it's too much. And you decide to buy out, buy out gracefully. That's okay. I said, I will admire you for that, you know, for, for giving it a try, you know, and because I don't know what the next time we'll do this, I really encourage you, you know, um, because the worst case scenario, you're going to learn some stuff. You know, everyone's going to learn some stuff. So um, um, can you switch me to week seven? Uh, what's week seven? Um, one, two, three. Roll service checkout. Seven, yes. Um, cause I, I have a show that day, so that will work cause I know I won't be doing it anyway. So yeah, yeah, so that's fine. Okay. All right. Um, and so then my husband won't get mad. 
But if you guys can take some time, at least on the weeks that you're covering, really read through the outline that I've shared. But even if you just, if you can take some time, I know it's a lot to read through, but I'm, um, you know, I, I wrote it on the plane in dark bags. So, you know what, I know there's some room for improvement in there. I just type it up when I go home and put more thought and consideration um, into it. But um, I think it's always better when a lot of people look at it and add their two cents because, um, you know, you guys are all amazing uh, at, at, at what you do and I want everybody's input. Yes. Okay, so a couple of things. We're gonna create a group for everyone participating. Mm -hmm. Are we doing some kind of incentive or is it just a training? Like booking boot camp, we did it. I think we'll just do, and then if you complete it at the end, maybe something special at conference or. Yeah, that's yeah. That's, that's one of the things we can talk about. I mean, there can yeah. be ones along the way. Does that just make it fun? I don't know. And what might they be tied to? Yeah. Um, surprise at the end. Right. Okay. And then um, when you would talk to me about it, one of the things you mentioned was, um, having some like inspirational posts in between based on what they're um, doing. Yep. So I thought that that would be helpful. Um, and then I l did like when we did the booking boot camp, how they shared um, some results that they were having, you know, similar to the, like a do and tell, but they were sharing and that I found kind of inspired others to kind of keep going or, oh, I'm having that same struggle or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so it kind of helps with the momentum. Yeah, and maybe we can set the expectation that they're going to be posting on their own. Yeah. I don't know, just change um, something or... Yeah, because definitely we want them to get connected. We want them to share their... Um, right. Their, their struggles and their triumphs. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. What do you guys think of the idea of this team leader training? I mean, um, oh, I love it. It's like less intimidating, I guess, than um, because I think sometimes um, people hear the word director and they get a little, little nervous about that. Well, and then I think I have people on my team that want to recruit, but they're not; those skills aren't as fine tuned as like maybe selling and bookings, but they're almost harder to fine tune. So it's sort of like, essentially it's a recruiting training class. Mm -hmm. It's like eight weeks of recruiting, of training on how to offer the business yeah. <laughs> and the different aspects of that. So I feel that that sometimes is missing. Um, and it's a way to concentrate on that. And then I know I need to be better at that in terms of just with my people. So it's a way to kind of, for, for me, like a learning thing. Mm -hmm. um so yeah so one of Lori's people is definitely doing it and then um yeah she's got like five recruit four recruit leads I'm like but that's a separate topic that's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great thing um, it is but <laughs> yeah anyways Michelle any other thoughts fine-tuning You've had some really good ideas, and I, I like the idea of sharing our wording on the, the Batty Downline group so that we can be, you know, mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. um, no, because you and I talked about it on the plane, um, you know, as far as what I thought of the idea, and I think it's a good bridge. It's, it's a bridge to um, a step-up training. Yeah. Yeah, and then I think then it builds confidence also in offering the business and making it seem like, oh, yeah, this really isn't that a big deal. Because mm -hmm. um, sometimes people think it's a big deal. And almost like a separate thing. And I always hear, you know, sometimes I hear from people, well, I don't want to do that yet because I'm not, I'm like, this is the best time to do it. You're so excited. Yeah. I'm like, that's my one regret. That's my one regret in my business, that I didn't offer it sooner. Mm -hmm. And if I had to do my business all over again, that would be one thing I would change in the beginning. And I just happened to get lucky and recruited my first show, which made me realize, okay, so clearly it's not about me and the magic thing to say and what I know because I didn't know anything and had nothing magic to say. So it was like, I was so fortunate that it was like, and when right. people recruit early on, they get that. 
early on. Right. It's not about being perfect or, you know, yeah, and all that kind of stuff. So, all right, anything else to add before I stop the recording? I'm no. thinking, no. All right. Then I'm going to 